<laughs> well, hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Red Dead 2. Let's get straight into it, shall we? Oh, straight away, there's a stranger near me. Let's go. Straight into the action. Action, Jackson, baby. Ow. Do you smoke, sir? Yes. <laughs> I smoke. Don't mind me. Sure, but perhaps not as much as you. That's a lot of cigs. No, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. Oh, cheers. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. Oh, cards. he's collecting the cards. Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. All right, here's a there. couple of cards. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. You don't have to smoke them. To you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh. Oh, yeah, they don't know how much this damages them. Oh, uh, I like that he's got a gray he is over him when he was sitting there, too. It's worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over mm. here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. <laughs> meow meows of the mm, desert. Sure. <laughs> How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. Sure. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Ram's bottom. At your Ram's six. bottom. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I gotta run. This is my train. I'd like to catch that train, though. Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. All right. See you later, man. A lot of smoke around me. Look at that. Wait, 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 wait. Ow! There we are. Oh, this is my stop. <laughs> I love it. It seems to be so much travel time. Home sweet home. Let's have some fun tonight. Let's enjoy. I don't swing that way, Dutch. You know this. Are we having a party? Maybe just a little one. Little teeny tiny one. Even you, Arthur. Even you. Be right there. Uncle Sean is back. Uncle back, Shawnee boy. I forgot about him. <laughs> After that whole nasty business with Micah, I forgot about it already. Get me a beer. Oh my god, he's fluffing the words. <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> That's not the lyrics. Oh, he's way ahead. <laughs> Give me another beer. Another beer. Another beer. Oh, bow, 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 bow. Another beer. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, right there, dear. She spit on him? Yeah, I did. Yeah, Joanne? Sean will make your life hell when he finds out you're an O'Driscoll. Oh, great. Just be grateful you're alive. Whiskey! Now we're talking. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Uh, sure. Sure. I ain't much of a dancer. <laughs> I'm in a flare. Hey. <laughs> this is kind of sweet. See, Arthur, it's okay to dance. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. <laughs> <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. I'm gonna get us out of this one. That was a fun party. That was a very fun party. <laughs> but time to get getting on to the actual game, you know? <laughs> there. A lot of stuff for camp again. We are rich. We've increased the quality of the stew. You and Sean seem to enjoy the party then? We saw each other today. Shut up. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> All right, mean? let's go hunting. The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you said the fool. Bison. Bison. Mm. Bison. Oh, bison, bison before. Yeah. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple of long way off. I haven't hunted them yet, though. Let's go. Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. 
Sure. Oh uh, yeah, he's been with the gang most of his life. Well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> well, my father did that too. Incredible, aren't they? I sure hope we don't farm them into extinction. Whoa. Well done. Thanks. I just hit it with my horse and it died. Alright. Skin and butcher. Take the horns too. It can all be used. Are right, you feeling a little horny? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that looks so wrong. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Well, yeah, they're probably dead after they got shot. I don't know. But I see tracks heading Smart. this direction. Fun. I say we follow them. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Well, we did. We just took the skin and then left the meat. Ta! <laughs> the body just spawned in. Did you fools shoot those bison? <laughs> Look at this doofus! Bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Black or red? Oh, Indian. Yeah, okay. Jesus. We shot them bison, we'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We It's not a business of mine! Dad have a little interrogating fun. What the hell are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. Damn it, tell us you're dead. And make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him. Why? No. Please don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right. I'll get out of here. <gasps> Just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friend. Depends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from there, Cat. I'll catch up with you later. Best of both worlds. Better craft poison knives. Hmm. You've discovered a new recipe. Can't believe he died from that one shot to the foot. <laughs> like seriously. I got your season in love. Here's those herbs you asked for. Uh, Couple episodes back or last episode, I can't remember. Hmm. <laughs> Rob Homestead. What? Javier. He has a he wants to rob a place? House. Oh, let's go rob a place. Let's go. Come on. What kind of a house. I don't know. One with four walls and a roof. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. Well, let's go take their staff. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. This is another little pig. This is a little pig. Let's stop and go on foot from Already on foot. The <laughs> they all do this. They're all like, let's go on foot. And I'm like, I'm already off my horse, buddy. Wanna make sure we don't run into any surprises. Uh-huh. So, I agree. Apparently, Nor my yawning. <laughs> family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders. Mm -hmm. It's probably terms. another language. Well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? That's English. They're just using different lingo, that's all it is. Be quiet. Alright. I love these like Be quiet! <laughs> What the hickory? Knife! 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 Oh, right in the nads, I think. In the brain! Insane in the membrane! Alright, let's see what's under here. <coughs> Hello! Well, look what we have here. Nice. <laughs> there we are. Nice shortcut. I always wanted to see one of them kangaroos. <laughs> or see one of them kangaroos. Hey, Arthur. Johnny boy. What do you want? What do you want? Uncle told me. He even said it. We want. What did he say? Oh, the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows. Just that was a while ago. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. 
At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. Mm. Stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if... What if? Force a train to stop. <laughs> well, of course. We I put someone on the tracks. Something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train mm. driver wants to be cooked alive. That's true. That is kind of brilliant. Yeah. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more in touch. So we doing it? Yeah, we're going to need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, Oil. and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Looks like we're robbing yet another train. I have a bounty of 265 on me, thanks to that. Freaking idiot. Ugh. You're somewhere you should be. Okay, okay. Keep your hair on. Sorry. I, I don't know why. I find this so entertaining. I'm just walking you now. Shit. Owie, 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 owie. Okay. They spooked it. I didn't steal it. Time to go! They're killing my horse! Run, girl! Run! <laughs> Steed everything! <laughs> yeah, that was easy. Get them to start shooting at me. Spooked uh, the oil thing, and now it's way over there, where no one's gonna witness me stealing it. Awesome! Didn't kill a single guard, either. He almost killed me and my horse, but, you know, items. Uh, it's just a whole lot of just traveling, isn't it? <laughs> just one place to the next, and then back again, and rinse and repeat. Oh shit, oh shit. Ooh, easy, 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 easy! Oh, a stranger. You're... you're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. Oh, I've never been to Strawberry. Don't know what you're talking about. Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. Oh. That's I ain't not good. What's worse? Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. The slow way. God damn. I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. Damn. God damn. Well, that's hard, partner. I might risk the last minute. No problem, partner. Very sleepy all of a sudden. Probably because you seem to have been drinking all night, man. Eh, ah, loot him. Why not? A Native American ring? God damn, he wasn't lying. Negative karma from stealing from a guy that killed a bunch of Indians. Right, whatever. Yeah. Screw you, game. All right, John, got the thing. Let's, let's go do the thing. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. Beautiful. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. That's good. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, we'll see. the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I like that little back and forth. They like each other, but they also don't like each other. So, yeah. I got no idea. <laughs> oh God, Abigail! Right? What you want? Come here a minute. What is? You've been nothing but a jerk to me from like ever since I got back. Can I ask you a favor? Another one? Probably not. Very funny. No, not funny. Do something with Jack. Yeah, I'll shoot him. He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, mm. you know his father's useless. You are a okay. bitch. <laughs> Thank you. Like, he is still bloodied and bleeding and barely recovered and he's about to do a job to get a bunch of money for camp. Screw you. You're traveling with thieves and murderers, and you're like, oh, no, I don't like my husband. He's a useless thief and murderer. And it's like, 
So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send uh, my son off with another thieving murderer. Moron. I'm a killer, too. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing? Yeah. <laughs> Try to use my gun. Sure. Fishing. Fishing tutorial. Come on. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Oh, my Good. God. Let's go get it then. Go catch us. Sure again. do. <laughs> yeah. No, you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. <laughs> I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. So your mama might disagree. Yeah, your mama's kind of a huge fucking bitch. <laughs> uh, I'm just talking silly. You've had a tough few weeks up in that snow. Yeah, how are you still alive out of all that snow? Like, you should have frozen to death like the first person. Hmm. I'll have to get him his storybook at some point. Alright, let's go fishing. You guys know how to fish? I know how to fish. It's been a long time since I went, though. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. Fishing sure is boring. I know. Boring as hell. How'd you get fish? Something happens. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. Hey, look at this. The what? Look at what he made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And he just. In such complex circumstances. Oh, boy. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Yeah. Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vander Lynn's most trusted associate. No idea what you're talking about. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton. Agent Ross. Can I kill them both? Pinkerton Detective Agency. Secunda. Oh, uh, the Pinkertons. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. $5,000 for your head what? alone. $5,000? For me, can I turn myself in? We want Van. <laughs> Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Well, you should be at Granite Pass then. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. This is my offer, Mr. Moore. Shoot them both. Shoot them both. Shoot them both. Van you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. You killed a lot of people in Strawberry. Matt Callender. Matt Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow. Ah, they killed Mac. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society. Kill them both. Kill them both. Kill them both. Kill them both. Come on. Savagery, and you will die savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us sooner than others. That's my line. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Shoot him both as soon as he turns. Enjoy your fishing, kid. Get him now. Shoot him. Can. <laughs> Shoot him both. Go on. Ah, the kid's here. That's true. Don't worry about no one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. How did they find me here in just this random fishing spot? Seriously. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Can we go now, please? Oh, what? You get to pick flowers and I don't? You're a selfish kid, Jack. <laughs> hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. Yeah, I'm already like a better dad than John is, to be honest. I just met some guys out near the river. 
a fella named uh, um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> oh, very funny. very funny. I say we do nothing. What? Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We just need to stay calm. Keep calm and carry on. Got it. You should turn that into our poster, Dutch. I'm not going to make it in this story, am I? I have a funny feeling I'm gonna frickin' die. Cause I don't remember this character in the in the previous game. Or was he? I don't remember. It's been so long since Red Dead. Oh, the anticipation. Nobody tell me. Don't spoil it. Well, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. That seems like a perfect place to leave it off. Seems like we're gonna rob a train. Uh probably draw way too much attention to ourselves and get in trouble. But you know, that's gonna be a fun next episode. I'd like to thank y'all very much for watching, and I'll see all you beautiful people next time. Bye bye, partner. Saw, met, and got the full message. What did you think? I think you're interrupting my outro. <laughs>